Hello, my friends. My name is Unky, and welcome back to another episode of My Time in Sandrock. Man, looks like the magic mirror is just freaking quit. The planting is done for now. I hope what we did had an effect. Huh? Planting? What are we talking about? Are we talking about the forest? Are we getting some more green? Is that what we're supposed to be seeing? <laughs> I like that uh, Danby is sparkling. And I guess everything is sparkling. Come on, oh. little buddy. You can do it. <laughs> Cute, Burgess. Bro! <laughs> it's not going to help to yell at it, Burgess. Come on. You got this, little guy. Hooray! This is so adorable. Ah! Sandstorm incoming! What? It's starting up. Protect the buds. Protect the buds. What about our forest? Where our forest blocked the sandstorm? Let's find out. You fall out back. Okay, we've headed straight there. Look at this. It's a good start. I don't know how this would block a sand. I think sandstorms are really big. Aren't they? Maybe it'll slow it down. We did it. You did it, you son of a gun. Did you see that? <laughs> Who is she talking to? <laughs> She's swearing at them. Yeah. The wind started picking up. Then crashed into the canopy like it was nothing. Stopped it in its tracks. Cool. I've never seen anything like it. I thought it'll be another sandy day, but then the wind just died. And... Is it just me, or are things looking a little greener around here? I feel like maybe this ivy is new. Is that right? You are correct. Zeke's work with the new algae has exceeded expectations. We're already years ahead of our target growth. Hey, that's cool. Years worth of growth in a couple of, what, weeks? Months? Oh, that's right. Zeke, why didn't you say anything? Thought y'all'd all notice. <laughs> Sometimes you've got to sing your own praises. Seek's the best. You all planted the trees. I just gave you the dirt to put them in. And Professor Lua and Nia helped a bunch. Humble to a fault, dude. Take the win. You nailed this. Certainly, we all played a part. But none of this would ever have been possible without your persistence, Zeke. We should build a Zeke statue. Take the compliment, Zeke. You deserve it. There we go. There we go. I wish that we could get a cool outfit for Zeke. Uh. I guess maybe because he's not dateable, so you can't dress up your, uh, your, uh, you can't dress up the people you can't date, maybe? All right, all right. Since most of our planting team is here already, what can we do next? Beyond the forest? Sandstorm? More like brainstorm? Go! Go! Oh. A machine that amplifies growth genes. Or how about a flying crop dusting object? Or a giant arboretum? Or how about journey to the center of the planet for more algae part three? Okay, she just totally went. So with here's, <laughs> calm down. Ooh, yeah. part three. Okay, uh, I'll be the guy. I'll build Ooh. all of those. Guys, listen. The thing is... I don't want no cold, hard reality. I only want wild, speculative dreams. Life on this planet is strong. Stronger when left to its own devices. Takes a lot to snuff it out. This is what I was saying when we were up uh, looking at Martel's Widow on top of the mountain, right? And Professor Lua was like, we'd have to do literally everything in the universe to save the tree. And I was like, no, dude, this tree saved itself for hundreds of years. Zeke has the right perspective. This is why I love this man. Sand Rock is the way it is today because of 50 years of wounding. It was too much for this oasis. The life here was losing its fight against an army of drillers and diggers. He's going to say basically that the best way to preserve the environment, or this is what I would assume he's going to say. The best way to preserve the environment is to not destroy the environment. <laughs> Brilliant. Genius. Who would have thought? What we do, it's not magic. We can't undo years of damage in a day. The purpose of this, all of this, was to give Sandrock the help it needed to heal itself. 
And isn't it true that there are entire... There's places on the planet that will, over time, like ecological time, uh, go from, like, rainforest to desert? Okay, so I didn't find a thing about how deserts turn to rainforest, but look at this article on NASA's website. NASA's satellite reveals how much Saharan dust feeds Amazon's plants. Let's see. Uninterrupted brown sand and scrub across the northern third of Africa. The Amazon forest. So essentially what this is saying, and I guess this points out at some point that the Sahara, the Sahara Desert used to be a giant lake bed. But get this. It's rich in phosphorus, of which the Amazon is actually in short supply of, but the winds are blowing this dust across the ocean to then fertilize the rainforest. So we're sitting here and we're like, oh my gosh, the desert, how terrible, there's no life. And it's like, no, ding dong, it is part of a larger ecosystem, right? We're just so painfully ignorant of nature and the universe around us. And we think that we're in control, we have the power, but the planet was so good at doing this, so good at living and thriving long before we came here, and it will be really good at doing this long after we're gone. Now, Sandrock has those tools. We gave it back what it lost. So, now, the only thing that can heal these wounds is time. Beautiful. Do you know what I love about this shot? Right? Because Zeke is like obviously the main guy of this, um, you know, this part of the quest right here. And he truly is the hero. You know, he wants to be humble, but he is. And look at how much bigger, like the way they placed his, um, the they placed us in the shadow so that he's just this towering figure that you can't not see through the shadow. I love this. I love this right here. Yeah. Figures. <laughs> I mean, what? Is that disappointing to you, man? She just wants to build stuff. Well. We could always continue to plant trees to the north, right? Yeah, we could still build cool stuff. Come on. Hmm. That's a long-term goal. In the short term, City Hall's got a huge backlog of low-priority commissions we wanted to do, but just never had the time or money for simple beautification things. But, as I said... All pretty low stakes. We, I would be so thrilled to do a bunch of low stakes building beautification. That was a really fun quest when we ran around and just planted desert flowers. Did somebody say? <laughs> Yay, let's go. He was right here the low whole time. Low stakes? <laughs> oh boy, yeah. That's us. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the uh, not so main story quest characters are here to do the low stakes stuff. <laughs> Hello, Burgess Danby. Have you seen the new growth around town? Whew. Have we seen it? <laughs> Have we seen it, she says. Tell her, Minister Burgey Boy. We are hyped up to 11, Mayor. We wanted to come straight to you and ask, what can we do to help? Oh, you just missed a really moving speech about how there's nothing we can do, and we just have to work. <laughs> I love how disappointed. It fits her character so much, because Mian is like, I have to be doing something. I have to go, go, go. I validate my worth through constantly producing and creating output. And Zeke's like, nope, you just got to sit back and watch the grass grow. And she's like, I hate this. <laughs> it's so funny. What? No. But... Oh? Oh? We were also just saying that there are plenty of things we can do in the meantime. Like what? Well, I don't know if you're old enough to remember, but Sandrock used to be within the forest that grew around the oasis. It was quite beautiful. That... Flowers and greenery everywhere. That would be amazing if it's, I mean, how long would it take for a forest to grow? 50, 100 years? Is if a forest grew up around sand rock? Oh my gosh, how cool would that be? It'd have to become green rock. We should try to bring that back. Now that we have a more sustainable environment with less sandstorms, it'd be good for everyone, right? Yes. Mayor Trudy, are you saying the city of sand rock is officially requesting Operation Flowergate to come out of retirement for an encore? <laughs> That's exactly what we're saying, bud. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's saying exactly that. Uh, sure. We could do for another round of beautification around town. What do you think, Zeke? Yep, reckon so. 
Mion and Nia even showed me some of their landscaping ideas before. Landscaping? Ooh, <laughs> baby! Can this day get any better? Really? Can I see? Can I see? Uh, sure. Oh it's my gosh. It's just a hobby project between Mian and I, and I'm not sure if it's good enough for the city. This is adorable. Are little, what are these called? Topiaries? The designs are beautiful. Can we pull this off? Sure. We've been designing a bunch of different frames for the shrubbery. We'd love to apply them to the city if you want. Oh, do I ever. Operation Flower Gate is a go. What do y'all need? Anything we can help with? I am so happy that this is what I get to do today. This is really, really fun. Hmm. What do you think, Mian? Any plants and flowers would do, right? Sure. The builder and I should be able to construct all the landscaping frames we need. You're in, right? This will be like our Builder Cruise version 2.0. <laughs> oh, I'm in. This quest feels like a cool victory lap. Like we worked so hard to get this forest up and running and it's working and now it's like, let's go plant some flowers in celebration. It's so cool. Great. We'll just need to tweak our plan a bit. Our hobby project was more localized around the moisture farm. I guess we'll need a day or two. Oh, you're gonna make me wait a day. No problem. Take your time. And Burgess? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Can you and Donby check how many shrubbery plants and flowers are in Sandrock's inventory? We should give them all to Mian and the Builder to speed up this process. Cool. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> to the flower cave. <laughs> we should get going as well. <laughs> Want to come with? Sure. I just... I'm going to take my paw for a walk. Let him see what we've done. Oh, that's so adorable. Oh, yeah, great idea. I'm surprised he's not out there already. Yeah, he's just resting. He just wanted to rest a bit before we head out. Meet you back at the moisture farm then. Sure. We'll send you a letter with the updated plan. See ya. You know what would have been really cool is if we could have had an outfit for Nia that was like, uh, you know, gardening, working at the nursery outfit. Because it's hard for me to imagine her working in the moisture farm, getting all dirty in this like super fancy outfit. Good luck all. I would totally pay another $4 for an outfit like that. Okay. That was so cute. Okay, look. Oh, there's... Okay. They are so ready. Look at them. What do I have here? These are... Uh, oh, these are the things I need to turn in. Is there any other big bubbles on the map? There's one here. I don't know what that is. I guess I can look. Sandrock, that's done. Um, okay. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go talk to these two. They are just over the moon. What? No quest? Hello? Uh, is it inside? I have no money. I gotta go sell some stuff. Oh, you know what? I think I talked about, I think I talked about getting one of these and putting it in the kitchen, which would then allow me to put the stove in the kitchen and actually be able to cook my food there. But I don't know if the freaking Okay, okay, so I guess that's just gone. Oh, well. Cool, well, we got a bunch of uh, stuff to do. Well, maybe we don't have a bunch of stuff to do today. I guess I gotta wait for the plants before we could kick that off. Where is this quest turn in? Oh, Way's at home. Oh, let's see, where is Way's home? Is it here? Yes. Oh, what a nice place. Oh, I like this. Good morning, sir. Hey there. Hmm. I know we put a lot on you, but, well, you always deliver, and I appreciate it. I'm proud to have you on my team. Woohoo! Okay, I think he had something chatty to say. The Commerce Guild has got a whole bunch of commissions for gardening and planting. Seems like the green streak has really inspired a taste for nature and the folks around here. Great. Mm. Me, I'm not one for the roller coasters. Give me the good old carousel any day of the week. One speed, one direction. That's my idea of a good time. No unpleasant twists or turns. Mr. Vanilla over here. Take her Jeez. easy. Bye, bud. 
So we had that one, and I guess we have one for uh, Mr. Chi as well. Let's see, why don't we call a mount? How are we doing with Lumpy? Loyalty is getting there. Um, let's call him. We want to keep building our loyalty with him. Want to get it up to 100. Come on, you snarky camel. Let's see, we can't trust the arrows. Uh... Okay, Rocky is down there. I guess that was the only one. Let's take a look. Yes, that was. How you doing? Good, bud. There you go. <laughs> And then, let's see what he has to say. Let's yeah. chat with everyone. I like the funny grass statues. They're like statues, but they're bushes. But what's going on with that? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love them theme park rides. First, I was like, what? This is just a mine cart. Then, bam, we're off. I was on cloud nine. Drinking soda and having some cotton candy. Then I threw up. But it was worth it. I'll do it again. I didn't expect him to throw up. I imagine that uh, Rocky yeah. probably eats a lot of junk food, but maybe not. Hmm. Trees to stop the sandstorms? Well, shoot, I could have told you that. Nobody listens to old Coop. Off his rocker, they say. Well, who's rocking now? Have you ever seen that movie down by the museum? <laughs> the people out there planting just look just like that cartoon lady from the museum's moving pictures. Truth is stranger than fiction, Unky. Yeah. Shucks. Can't believe I ain't never thought to make my own theme park. Tie a kid to a yak mail. Kick it in the butt. There's a ride they'll never forget. <laughs> Let him bounce around on the rubber scrap. Shoot. Maybe it's not too late for me to bootleg Katori World. Okay. Well, Get that was later. Uh, hilarious. Ah. The day the sandstorm stopped, work and title. I mean, come on. We got to write a song about something as monumental as this, don't we? Hopefully, Coop and I will play it for you next time you're in the blue moon. Oh, I love that. Hmm. Have you gotten to Katori World yet? It's a miracle of modern engineering, I tell you. I think I'm gonna have to stay off that roller coaster though. Too many ups and downs. Take her easy. Bye. Elsie. Mm -hmm. I always knew Zeke had it in him to figure out this stuff. I just never thought I'd ever be anything like this. He should have made it sound cooler. I think if we knew this was what we were gonna get, more people would have been on board faster. Boing, boing, <laughs> so cute. And they disappear. <laughs> That roller coaster is a league a minute. I must have ridden it 50 times by now. It's like breaking in yak mill with rockets attached to its sides. Bye. What are they? Oh, Burgess is over here, um, you know, giving a sermon. Jensen. Howdy. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be left out. Maybe I can get Zeke to hook up my trains with some plant decorations. Although, is that practical? Well, look how successful your campaign has been, Unky. You even made me green. Green with envy. Hmm. I think if you think about it, a roller coaster is just a train in the sky. The pathing, incredibly inefficient, but I suppose that's what people consider fun. Catch you later. Catch you later, and then Mabel. Hmm. When I heard someone say everything's green, I thought, oh no, not again. But then it turned out to be the good kind of green, which you know is good. <laughs> mm. I'm tempted to help Katori get into the concocting of fair food, but it's also unhealthy. I hear in some places back in the old world, they even deep fry a candy bar. You have no idea. I'll catch you later. Bye. I thought I just saw Heidi. Yep, there she is. Hello, good morning, gorgeous. Con. <sighs> Just happened to crave this. Ooh, some food. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. Hon, from pregnancy to childcare, there's so much I still need to learn. I'm just worried that when they're born, I won't know what to do. You're... <laughs> we don't know what to do. <laughs> We're barely getting by. Hmm. For all the convoluted schemes I came up with to stop the sandstorms, you know once I even proposed a building in a giant glass bubble? In... <laughs> That's funny. In the end, it was good old Mother Nature that saved us with a little prodding from good folks like you and me. Hon, from pregnancy to ch hmm. I love looking off in the distance and seeing that theme park. Not just because we helped build it, but because it represents the story of a woman who gambled everything on a better life for her son and won. I admire that. That is a really good point. All right. Let's uh, let's go see if we got some stuff to build today. Sounds like the commission board might be full of fun stuff to do. Should probably check in on my child. See how they're doing. Why don't you return? Let's check the mail really quick. 
Tumbleweed Standard. Welcome to Katori World. Hello, everyone. It's me, Jasmine, taking over for Aunt Heidi this week. Aunt Heidi has been really busy lately. Plus, I've all, already been on all the rides, so we both agreed now would be a good time to write my first front page article for Katori World. Woo, excited. Okay, so this is written exactly as a kid would write it. Katori World is great. It has rides, it has lights, it has animals and performers, and Katori said there's going to be a lot more to come if sales meet expectations. Well, sweet pea, I made a place like this because I want kids like you to have a place where you can just be kids have fun and share with your families some of the best experiences in life you can have together very moving words from aunt katori one thing she forgot to say when i asked why she made katori world is the money everybody knows aunt katori likes money but aunt katori is not wrong money is a good thing money can be used to buy cats cat food dog dog food books and many more in summary katori world is very fun and will and will our town grow that and that is good uh, and will grow our town, I believe, would be. Uh, and will our town grow? This is a bit strange poetic phrasing. Letter from Ma. Your pa and I saw you in the paper again. This time it was for opening of Katori World. I can't believe Stan Rock has a theme park. What fun. I heard a group of people from Highwind are going to make the trip. Cool. Uh, I'm glad I invested. And there's lots of people coming from Highwind. I'll make so much money. First theme park in the free cities. There's even a roller coaster. It's so cool. I don't think there's one anywhere else you can come ride it sometime it would be really cool if the parents came and visited i think that that would be really neat okay let's gather up i gotta figure out what's going on with magic mirror clearly has absconded from their duties um i wonder if um i don't know if they're doing all right do the chips wear out is that why you get so many of them or do you only hire them for a certain amount of time? Well, he's right there. Let me go ask. Oh, they only get hired for a period of one month. Okay, that's good to know. Do I have any more of the chips? No. I don't. The only one left is watering. Wait, wait, don't go anywhere. A sign. Let's see. Looks like he's... M okay, so this is all signed. Harvest crop, plant seeds, collect produce. Um, I don't really need you to do those things, honestly. I kind of like doing them. I do like doing some things on site. Hello, beautiful. Okay, so we can reasonably assume that Mr. Magic Mirror is going to take care of all that. Let's see. The bunnies look grown, but they're probably still... Yeah, we're going to wait till their happiness gets full. I like that. Let's go. Good job collecting those goods. Cold cactus, silver, organic. These are not difficult, so we'll keep doing those. Um, I have so many of these. There's no reason not to accept that. And I have a ton of these. Oh, already have too many commissions. Is there one I haven't turned in yet? Oh, yeah. It's uh her lunch, which should be ready. Okay, so let's see. Organic sheets. Pretty straightforward. Oh, a little crass. What are you doing playing around in here? Uh, my kid keeps telling me that I'm bored. I think it's supposed to... Greeno shampoo? Here, have this toy. There you go. Tiny toy frog. Wagoo. Whoa, that kid can move. Wow. I'm going to do that. See if I can maybe clear out some stuff. Um, I might actually have the funds now to continue 15,000. Oh yeah. Continue the renovation of my home. I started to add to it and I didn't finish. In fact, if we come back here, we can see this kind of half-assed building. That would be really fun to finish. Let's, um, maybe I'll wait a little bit before I'll wait till these organic sheets are done and then I'll go turn in the rest of the stuff. Where am I seeing this check mark? Oh, it's way over there. Okay. The 
The design of this house is gonna get a little strange, I feel like. Um, I'm gonna destroy this roof. I'm gonna destroy, actually, I'm gonna change size. Let's see, can we pull this back a little bit so it goes right into the wall? There we go. What about this one? Um, this might, it might be better to expand this to just be full size. I'm not sure yet. Let's do another majestic style house. Drop it right here. And then I'm going to put one more. Let's see. I gotta see what this looks like on the inside. I'm basically trying to make two bedrooms. Whoa, okay, no, 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 no. That's bad. That's bad. You know what would be super cool too is if I'm able to put a little patio out here. That would be fun, okay. Let's go see what disaster this looks like. Destroy, those are ugly stairs. I might shrink this up, actually. Uh, rotate, there we go. We're gonna plop this. Well, it needs a little bit of room, doesn't it? I need room to get on the stairs and get off the stairs, so we'll put those there, but it's not, yeah, this sucks. Oops, nope, 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 nope. This is okay up here. It actually needs to be wider. Well, no, not necessarily. I thought that this would be like a hallway to get to these two rooms, but actually um, it's okay like this, maybe room one and then room two. I actually don't mind this. And this is not too small for a kid's room, is it? No, it's fine. The only problem I'm finding is I like these elegant staircases in design, but it's so big. It's just so big. Let's see. In order for it to make sense, it would at least need to be like this, right? But this is goofy. It just needs to extend a few more in either direction. Okay, so let's see what happens when we do that. We can always extend the, we can always um, increase the size of the living room, I guess. So I guess we're editing the home today. This is gonna really mess up everything inside. I'm, I'm, af I, I'm afraid. Well, let's see, actually, before I do that, let's get this right. So if we change size, I also kind of feel like maybe extending this just like one or two. 680 to do that, okay. Let's see. I'm trying to be really careful not to move the other buildings unless I have to. Because anytime I do, it just becomes a disaster and it's so frustrating. See, what am I, this is exactly, what the hell is this? Now there's just a big stupid stair in the way. It's so freaking annoying. Uh, let's see, well then how are we gonna, whoop, 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 that's not what I meant to do. I don't understand. I wish that it was better designed. It's just the stuff inside shouldn't move around. Let's destroy this. Let's take this, destroy this. This is stupid. Now I have no door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I think it was right about here. Let's put, actually, let's do this. Da, 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 da. 
Has anyone actually used this thing? It's so unbelievably, this is like if you have a palace. It's ridiculous. I want this though. I don't, the only reason I want it, honestly, is because it says elegant. And I'm an elegant lad. Okay, so we can actually pull this back just a little bit, something like that, maybe even more. That feels comfortable, right? How does it feel up on top? Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Um, we need some decoration there. Okay, so this is actually great. This is great. Now we gotta split this into two equal rooms. These are gonna be the kids' bedrooms. How cute! Okay, we're making progress. Oh, we need a door. We need a door. As far as what goes on back here, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I can move the closets back there or I could put more relics. I guess relics never hurt. Stuck teleport out of room. <laughs> hey, that's a nice feature. Um, I just want a wooden arch. Right there for now, confirm. And then I think it probably makes sense to expand. God, it's gonna mess up everything. You know what? As long as there isn't something above it. Oh no, that's what's gonna happen. I feel like matching the size of these rooms to the living room makes the most sense. I guess my hesitation here is that as soon as I start doing that, things inside get all screwy. But I think things get in, get all screwy inside if I'm shrinking things and not if I'm expanding things. So let's um, let's see what we can do here. Dun, dun, dun. So, okay. Okay. Please don't explode. Okay, okay, nice. Let's see, is this even? Yes, it is still even. Okay, so then on this, let's do this. Extend this out to here. Shrink this up. We'll actually pull this all the way to here. And on this one. There we go. Okay, now. I need to reattach these rooms to the house. And hopefully it doesn't just wreck everything. Hard to see, let's see. Is that right? That looks right, okay. Roof. Kind of just want that to go. What the heck? Oh, every time you move stuff around the roofs get all screwy and I feel like it's almost better to destroy them. Wait, do I need to destroy this one? Maybe not. Okay, hold on, change material, roof. Beautiful, okay, glorious. Now let's reattach this kitchen. Okay, that's not a mess, that's nice. Now, let's see, do I have the money to finish to make one more big ass roof? Yes, but it doesn't want to for some reason. Why is that? Is it because it's multiple buildings? Okay, hold on. Let's try it from here. 
Yeah, it's not weird. It doesn't want to go all the way to the edge. These rooms are slightly different sizes, though. So hold on. Oh, look at that. One is slightly bigger than the other. Weird. Oh my God, that would mean in order to have these rooms even, I would have to expand these all out one more. Ooh, I hate that. I hate that so much. Okay, well then let's try this. Keep that there. Majestic style roof. Can we go from here to here? Yes, that covers the whole roof. Okay, beautiful. How far will you let me come this way? Uh, change size. Okay, we did it. And then let's put a big steeple on that. There we go. I kind of want to rotate it. I wonder if it'll let me. Let's see. Move. Okay, it's a little goofy. Can we fix it? I think we just need to move it. Nice. Okay, um, let's put a window or something on here. We're almost out of money. What windows did I like? Okay, let's see what kind of disaster we've caused. Only one thing came down. That's usually a really good sign. What do you think the magic mirror spends the money that it makes on? Okay, this door is goofy. Oh, every time. We knew this was gonna happen, it's okay. We will just destroy you, get the heck out of here. Oh, this room is huge. This room is almost too big now, but I can kind of make it into two separate things. If I, okay, we'll have to move all that around. Let's go in here and just see how this is working now. Come on, you silly couch. There we go. Okay, beautiful, great big staircase. Okay, this, both of these windows sort of suck. I hate the way this window's okay. Bio crust. <laughs> Will the window look strange outside? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Okay, that window's fine. Oh, I could put windows on the sides of the buildings. Uh, these are bedroom. Oh, I keep doing that. Sorry. There we go. These are separate bedrooms. Da, da, da. No, I don't want an arch. They deserve a door. Oh, well, it is a door. This is an arch. No, I don't have the money. Uh-oh. That's okay. Okay, we'll stick this back in here. We're just um, prototyping anyways. You know what? I can get the money. I can get rid of this window because this looks bad. Doesn't it? Well, it doesn't look too bad. If we move this so it sits right in between that. That's not bad. If we move this, it's right here. That's not bad, actually. I definitely want to put lots of windows on everything. Okay, so we have we have cashed out. We have spent every single penny that we have. Let's just move this stuff really quick into the corner. There we go. This is okay. This needs to change. We'll probably, here's what I'll do. There we go. And then this lamp can be like right here instead, right? Or this can just go. Almost feel like something like this would be cool. I'll have to play around with it a little bit.
The room is really wide. Oh my gosh. Am I going to have to like extend it back a little bit? I might. That would give them a little more room in their bedrooms too. Which would be nice. You know what might work here? How's my bedrooms a little disastrous? Retrieve, I never really liked this thing anyways. I have another nightstand. I always, I've always hated this bookshelf. It's kind of just a placeholder. Having a couch, I mean, it's not actually a bad bedroom. I like it. Oh, I gotta fix this. I have no money for better doors now. That's unfortunate. But I have room for a nice uh, painting right here. What do we have? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Whoever drew that is a genius. Absolute genius. Okay. That's so funny. I love that so much. It's so freaking adorable. Let's see. Uh, oh, that's kind of sweet. I sort of want a framed picture. But I guess I don't really have one. So we'll just put this up right here. Masterpiece Granny. That's kind of, that's very cute. Okay. This room is still perfect. Absolutely adorable. Okay, so wait, what was I doing? This needs to be in the corner. That. Oh, the big yak boy thing. That needs to go here. There we go. Our yak boy roots. Yeah, see, you know what I could hang up, I guess? Why can't I not click on these? Something like this. Um, actually, and then this, if I retrieve this. Oh, that's not bad. I like that. This is a little awkward right here. But could I um, stick a lamp? Oh, I could. Hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. I got this big ass anchor. I've got two of these. This is this is a hilarious freaking find. Whatever. <laughs> Just drop a giant anchor in the middle of the room. I'm gonna do it. There. It's it's uh <laughs> One of the funniest weapons in uh, Elden Ring is you just get a giant rusty anchor and you just hit people with an anchor. I love it. Okay, so then we're going to put... Let's see. Retrieve this. Oh, it goes back into storage. Okay, that's fine. Um, It's getting late, though, and what I would like to do with the rest of the day, I believe, is go turn in these commissions. They should all be done, right? Here we go. Granny picture. Love it. Wait, no. Oh, this one. Uh, oh, yeah. Masterpiece cranes. Love that. Love that. Those are going to go in the kids' rooms for sure. Matt, React Boy Mirror. And, ooh, a little baby cactus. Okay, so let's see. Do we have, we do. All of these are done. Let's go turn them in. What a nice day. Can we take a look at the house? I feel like the roof should extend a little farther in either direction, but it's okay. It's okay. I like the irregularity of it. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, whoops. Uh, interact, lead, interact. Check. One day. Uh, I was informed that I didn't miss Fang's thing on Monday because it's actually Wednesdays and Fridays and I'm super happy about that.
Dun, 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 dun. Here you are. Thank you. Speaking of Elden Ring, this is Sandrock's version of Queen Merica and King Radagon. And if you know, you know. Elden Ring, I'll tell you that. I loved that game. That is not a game I usually play. I do not like struggling. But there's something about that game that compelled me. Mostly the environment and the story. And Thank then you. you're welcome. Enjoy your dinner. And then uh, beyond that, there was something incredibly satisfying about beating these incredibly hard bosses. I am not good at those games. It took me a long time to get through that game, but it ended up being totally worth it. And I'll just leave that there. I'd much rather craft <laughs> than get my ass kicked by a freaking boss with a giant sword, but you know, sometimes stuff just tickles your fancy and you never know why. Uh, stay right there, Mr. Lumps. Here's the hero of the day, Mr. Zeke. Here you go. Oh. This is good. Let's see what he's got to say. <laughs> Glad we found Burgess and Danby something to do while we wait for the forest to rally. Those two have really grown on me, but they tend to struggle with just sitting tight and waiting things out. <laughs> That's a good point. They're go, go, go. He's got patience. Let's see, Valley of Whispers is now grounds for a theme park. A place that used to make people sick. Well, it makes people sick, but they like it, I guess. That is a really Zero. funny observation. Um, let's see, did we get any good dialogue from Nia? I can't remember. Hmm. Sometimes it's the little details that matter most. Yes, their town is now ecologically stable. Do we need a bush structure of a yakmel to improve any aspect of our environment on a practical le on a practical level? No. Do I want one? Yes. <laughs> Katori World roller coasters, flashing lights, and candy apples. You betcha. Just do me one thing, will ya, Unky? If I'm going to the theme park too often, I think I have a problem. You'll tell me, right? Um, Catch you later. If you become a theme park addict, I don't know. I can't really hold that against you. Okay. Well, fantastic. You know what I would really like to do um, in the near future? Maybe tomorrow. We'll see what we'll see what tomorrow holds. But I think it would really be fun to go back to the theme park. We got the introduction. I'm hoping that it's like a thing we can do on a date. I want to go on all those rides. I want to do all that stuff. It's so cool that it even exists. So we're going to have to go check that out. But it is getting late. We've already been at this video for an hour. So I think it's about time for me to say, my friends, thank you so much for watching until the end. Hit the like button and subscribe. Leave a comment. It's my favorite thing in the world. We're having so much fun. Today really felt like a victory lap. I love that we're going to spend a bunch of time just planting topiaries around town to green it up. It feels so good. So to me, I know, I guess I say this at the end of every video now, what's left to do? I'm sure there's something. A good work life balance. Uh, thank you. Get off the rail. Quit floating in midair like a magician. Anyways, my friends, I will bid you all farewell. Hey, I got this for you, Magic Mirror. Let me get that for you. And I will see you all next time.